It's been an you know, interesting journey. This is the second in a series of hopefully three cars. Art and science is now going into an evolutionary state, but I think between the CL and uh, El Mirage, we're trying to see how we progress it. And in, in this one, it's been really focused more about the attitude of the car. So the El Mirage is essentially about this notion of the drive, where the CL was about the journey, where time really wasn't uh, the issue, you were not in a rush, you were really there to enjoy your time in the vehicle. The drive is a much more focused spirit, and really the idea is to create a car that has a slightly more poised, aggressive nature and looks a little bit more dynamic doing so. And Mirage is, by the fact it's a big luxury coupe, uh, um, a very obvious tribute to um, the big Cadillac coupes of the 60s that everybody has in his mind. But I think what's very special about this vehicle is that it brings it to the next step. It's the first time you have a big coupe Cadillac that is really performance oriented as well. The joy of this car is we really had a nice proportion to play with with the cabin and that's a really, um, that's a really strong uh, signature to play with when you're trying to create a very dynamic uh, gesture. It's, it's actually amazing, not just emotionally, but actually as a designer, one of the, the best moments for me when you're taking a full-size model, in our case, these are clay models, so they never get to be driven when we develop the designs, but the moment when we wheel them outside into the viewing yard, that's always a moment I'm very interested to watch because when you see the vehicle move and the wheels rotate, it does take on a slightly different poise and it's, it's always a, a little bit different to how you saw it statically. So uh, getting to see the actual car driving down the road at speed is fantastic and uh, seeing the spirit of the car and the volumes and the shapes move around, I mean, that's, it's a great moment for anyone. I really want people to see it as a mature statement for Cadillac because when I think of Cadillac, I think of an incredibly graceful, mature, proud and bold brand and it's uniquely American. So I, I really want to try and capture that with this vehicle and, and I feel seeing the volume of the car, it has great presence, it has beautiful lines, great volume. And that's something that I think everybody aspires to have. Because I think everybody who worked in the car took pride in what they did, and it shows. And I think that's the same thing with the brand and Cadillac as well. People take real pride in producing a vehicle called Cadillac. Well, I hope they, they see the, the CL and they see the Omirage and they say Cadillac has a vision. There's a formal vocabulary that's starting to come, and we're going to start to see it on production vehicles. And they're in ex they get excited. I mean, we're excited by what we've done, but it's, you know, watching the public, the press, and even better, the average person just react to it and say, that's a beautiful coupe.